I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hi. Hello. Uh, welcome back. Yeah, what is, like, I like to imagine he finished, oh, damn it. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I like to imagine that he finished, like, saying all this stuff. Like a while ago, and now he's just like. <laughs> if you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness. Wow, I feel like I've done that. I did that yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what did you order at Bob's Big Boy? Ugh, I got a fucking waffle <laughs> with uh. Damn, he's eating up all yeah. our shit. Oh, no, no, no. oh god. Still not full. Jeez. Give me more. <laughs> All right, we gotta go get more. Yeah, I gotta get more star bits. God damn. Um, what the fuck was I saying? Bob's big boy. Right. I got the waffle, and uh, I got sausage and eggs. Wow. And then stupidly, I was like, why don't I get a shake too? Oh, jeez, man. Because it's a special occasion. Um. What was the occasion? We were we were seeing Ant Man. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's special enough to eat yourself nauseous. Yeah. Um, which was only okay. Ant-Man was only okay? Yeah. Hmm. I am H.O. Way to pay back the people who got, gave you a nice advanced screening. Well, what the fuck ever. It's not like I'm gonna <laughs> automatically love their movie because they let me see it early. <laughs> I mean, thanks. It was. A, yeah. I had a great time. Yeah, I had but, a great uh, time watching your mediocre at best movie. It wasn't super great. Oh. I'll just say it right now. I mean, it was fine. It wasn't bad. Cool. I just, uh, I just have that attitude. You know what I mean? Well, slap that on their poster. <laughs> Ant Man. <laughs> it wasn't bad. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't bad. Aaron Hansen. But uh, I'm sure a lot of people will dig it. It's got a lot of funny moments. Yeah. There's a lot of people out there who don't like. Uh, Good things. You know what I'll say? <laughs> yeah. I will say the cast was really good. Oh, Paul Rudd's awesome. Yeah, and um, so with what they had, they did a really good job. That's also how I feel about Parks and Rec. Really? Yeah, is that like, the cast is super good and the scripts are not always that great. Mm-hmm. But they always do a good job with what they have. Yeah. Um, because they are all very talented individuals. Yeah, they are. It's a great cast. And yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> He's like, oh, man. oh thanks. <laughs> I'm stuffed. <laughs> yeah, right. And there's just goo everywhere, and you're like, oh, fuck. God damn. So I prepared for this. A new planet was born. Yay. Mazel tov. Here we go. Okay. To the new planet, which looks more just kind of like a mountain. It looks like a like a gross mushroom growing out of a. A baseball. Are you describing my dick, or what? What are we talking about? I was, <laughs> I was talking about the stage. Oh. Yeah. Well then. I was, I was Forget just, I mentioned anything. Let's talk about the. Let's talk about the stage we were doing. It's fine. Yeah. Sorry, I uh, <laughs> didn't want to bring up. Bad, Sorry, I outed you. Bad memories. <laughs> or just bad happenstance. Yeah, I can't. But no, your dick's fine. Thank you. Your dick's thank, fine. thank you. Yes, it's fine. Have you seen my dick? Yeah, dude. When was this? This was the other day. I feel like I should know about this. No, no. Barry's definitely seen my dick. Sweet. Yeah. How? There's no way to. When you're roommates with someone, there's no way to avoid. Like, it, it, even even if you're just wearing like underwear that you've worn for a while and has been through like the wash a couple times. <laughs> Your dick just looks like a fucking hamster that's stuffed inside a gym sock. Yeah. I feel like that's, um... You know when it's like... You have a roommate, and it's like a girl, and you're like, Ooh, a girl roommate, like, ooh, that's so hot! And then like two days into it, you're like, nah, it's not so hot anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I am far too intimately aware of <laughs> yeah, because many just, things. Like in the middle of the night, you just hear like, <laughs> <laughs> And yeah. it's like, if you're not dating him, you're just then... Like, yeah, I think I'm gay. I think I'm gay now. <laughs> I think I'm a big old gay guy. <laughs> yeah. If you're not dating him. If you're dating him, it's adorable. Oh yeah, if you're dating him, it's like, well, whatever, I'm dating him. Yeah. But when you're not, it's just kind of like, ew, that's my gross roommate. 
but you're also like that, so... Of course, everyone's like that. Hypocrisy central. Yeah. <laughs> How do, is there a hole up there? I think there's a hole up there. I'll oh, just hold it here. Whoa, he's after you. Whatever, that Goomba's not you gonna do anything You better watch out, he's coming right for you. He spotted you! You did it. <laughs> you killed him. He spotted you! <laughs> watch out, he's coming right for you! Bop, we got the coin. <laughs> Boop, we got the coin. <laughs> Gotta watch out for those star bits and put them in, put them in your tank. <laughs> what about these guys? How are you? Whoa! <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> he looks at you for like two seconds. He's like, mmm, something's not mushroomy about this guy. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> That's a Mario! God damn. Oh, yeah, look yeah, at this. Yeah. Look at this fucking VVVVV shit. Yeah. Um, it's Gravity Man from Mega Man 5. I'll thank you to remember. Oh, excuse me. And it's, a uh, Metal Storm? Yes! Nice. Dude, you were so happy when we saw that Metal Storm poster. Oh, fuck yeah! Can I play some Portland? Well- Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's very graphic. Yeah, we went to some game store in Portland and, like, they had- They had a bunch of, like, old posters for games and they had fucking- a Metal Storm poster, and I was like, whoa! Yeah, and a Metal Gear poster. It was a Metal, metal Slug poster. Metal Slug, yeah. 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 And, and my friend often... Kelly was like, Slug like games with metal in them! <laughs> we were like, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I bought it. So it felt weird buying it. Oh, it's at the other end. Uh, I felt weird buying it because, uh, I was like, can I get the Metal Storm poster? And the Metal Slug poster? And they're like, and yeah, and she could tell she was like, it's a lot of metal. Yeah. <laughs> What's up with you and liking games with metal in the name? Yeah, maybe I like to rock. Yeah, how about that? That thought ever cross your brain? Yeah. Maybe I just like robots. Yeah. And both of those games have robots in them. Maybe I just like the feel of steel betwixt my legs. Oh, oh, I forgot what we're talking about. Oh, shit. Just. Yeah. Uh, oh, damn yeah. It. Oh, I wanted gosh. the one man, but I couldn't get the one man. It's okay. Bam! Nice. Now everyone in there is dead. <laughs> <laughs> right? I let the atmosphere out. Yeah. Whoa. That was confusing. Ooh, this is... This feels awkward and dangerous. Oh, I just gotta do this. Yeah. Because it never lets you fall off the planet. Oh, that's right. It's got its own sense of gravity. Hey, does Mario have like moon boots? How is he staying on these things? It's just like it's just like oh, you know, these are all their own planets, so they have their own gravity. Oh sure. So that's that's how it goes. Mm. And their know. own atmosphere. All and I know is that it was really difficult to program. Yeah, I'm sure it was, dude. It's it's a 360 degree game. Well, give it, give it. Thank you. Just. Oh, sweet! Now I got fucking little dingle dongs. Oh, but this can just take you right to the place you need to go, yeah? Oh, I gotta fucking... I gotta get that star. Yuzli! Oh, no, yeah. Gotta get the star, Yuzli! Great job, star. dude. Yeah. You're making good progress. Thanks. This game's probably almost over. Yeah, it's almost... it's... this is the last level. <laughs> We're already in the last level. Could you imagine? How much did this How much did this game cost, son? 60. 80 dollars. <laughs> Go to your room. <laughs> did I pay for that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No college for you. Well done, brave explorer. You've discovered a new galaxy. Collecting power stars will expand your range of vision. Great. I I need range of vision. I've got tunnel vision and I can never see the people around me. Mhm. Mm Emotionally. Mm -hmm. Alright, so number three, I can open that one now. These are question marks, so I can't do that. But I can spin the galaxy. That's nice. Or I guess this is just a solar system. Even though the center is, I don't know, like a black hole, I guess? Is there a zoom in? Okay. <laughs> oh no, it's like actually, like you, you're the center of the galaxy. Whoa. So that's kind of fucked up, right? I mean, a lot of people think that way. That's for sure. Yeah. We That's did, for true. We did in like the 1600s, right? 1400s. Oh, I just meant a lot of people are fucking full of themselves. But yes, before I believe it was Galileo, or Ga perhaps Aristotle? Yeah, maybe. No, he was a, uh, One of those he was a philosopher. Dudes. When they watched boats disappear into the distance God. by sinking into the water. Now I can't remember. 
Is that for real? Cause I- the, the boat's gotta be really fucking big for them to d start sinking into the water. When they disappear. What do you mean? They say, like, one of the first clues of, like, the Earth being round mm -hmm. was that boats would, when they disappeared into the distance, they would, like, sink a little bit. Oh, oh. Because they were, like, going over the curvature of the Earth. Yes. But I don't- I don't know- I don't know how that could be true. Yeah, I don't know either. Is May the horizon line just the curvature of the Earth? Yes, yes, it is. Oh, well then. Um... I mean, obviously. Duh. <laughs> um, duh. What are, you, what are you? What are you? Some kind of not scientist? Yeah. <laughs> what, what are you? Some kind of? So, so, uh, uh, some kind of, uh, uh, what are you? What are you? <laughs> Tell me, <laughs> please. Yeah. What are you? Yeah. All some right, I got a honeybee. Stupid. Oh, you look delightful. I'm Bee Mario. All Let's find I out. can say is that my life <laughs> is pretty plain. I like watching the puddles gather rain. All right, next time on Game Grumps. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna show you what it does. Can you guess? Are you gonna read a book to stay awake? And it rips my life away, but, but it's, it's a, a great, great escape. 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 All right, see ya. Yeah, uh, I mean, we could sing all of Blind Melon's No Rain. I I just want someone to say to me, <laughs> No, oh, 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 <laughs> I'll always be there when you rain. Yeah.